Hey, what's going on guys? Welcome back to another Dokkan battle video. So today, we are going to be showcasing the newly Extreme Z Awakened AGL Transforming Goku at Rainbow Status. Now, before we jump into it, I do want to give a quick shout out to the sponsor of today's video, Madara Accounts. They are an online store for stacked global and JP Dokkan accounts with thousands of stones and lots of top tier units for very reasonable prices. So. If that sounds like something that you would be interested in, then definitely head down to my description and check out their website. And if you see something you like, you can use my discount code TIGER for 20% off your entire purchase. So that's Madara account. Go check them out. And with that said, let's uh, get into the showcase. So as you can see, we have my AGL Goku on the screen. He is at 100% in the hidden potential system. And as far as his links go, uh, they're not maxed out, but pretty damn close. And he has a level 5 attack skill orb, level 2 crit, and also level 2 additional. And for the team, we are running a Kamehameha team. And the event is, uh, I think it's called the Formidable Saiyan stage of Infinite Dragon Ball history. So on this first rotation, we have the Goku linked up with AGL Gohan. And Goku is starting with 120,636 defense, which isn't too bad considering he does stack attack and defense, and there's also no supports on rotation. So let's give this guy a few orbs here and just see what kind of damage we can get with this first attack. So uh, here we go. Let's see it. Let's see it. Okay, so we took that for 26, and Goku's getting 3.2 million. Okay, that's not bad. That's not bad. Now, I believe the Frieza, the uh, Tech Frieza, does hit harder at max links, but obviously a big part of that is because Frieza has big bad bosses, which is arguably the best link in the game, and this Goku doesn't. But I would say, yeah, 3.2 million turn one without supports is quite good. It's quite good. All right, so now we're on Nappa, and what I'm going to do is take the Roshi out of rotation so we can get that support a little bit later. And I brought this uh, STR Kaoken Goku because later on when the transforming Goku becomes Super Saiyan God and Super Saiyan Blue, he actually becomes a much better linking partner than the AGL Gohan. So for now, we'll leave him where he is, but uh, eventually we'll get this Goku and the AGL Goku together. Uh, let's give this guy a 12 key super. Here we go. Ah, <sighs> okay. So so far so good. 3.2 mil, turn one, 120 120k defense, I believe. And uh, we still haven't seen much yet, right? We still got four more forms, four more transformations. And I think, I think at the end of this video, my conclusion will be that he's actually really, really good. But I kind of expected that when I first came in. By the way, this is really my first time ever like running him on a real event. So it's almost like a showcase slash first impressions. And the impressions so far, you know, are quite positive, but we'll see, we'll see. Okay, so turn two. And this time we are missing... I mean, we don't have any supports either. So we have two Gohans now. And I kind of want to actually put the Goku in the front, just so we can test his defensive capabilities a little bit more. Now, he has good defense, but on top of that, he also has damage reduction. So right now he has 22%. It goes up to 25% when uh, you're at Super Saiyan Blue. So he should be tanking all these attacks very, very well. But let's do that. Let's put Goku in the first slot. I know it's not like the ideal rotation, but it's fine because we're just showcasing the Goku anyways. Uh, let's give these to Gohan and we'll give those to the other Gohan. All right, so Vegeta, give me a super. I want to see. Yeah, here we go. I want to see how much damage we take here. Hopefully not too much. 61k, all right. Yo, we can definitely live with that. We can definitely live with 61k on a super. Especially for one of the newer, uh, you know, Dragon Ball history events, right? So, 
or rather history stages. So that's that's really good. That's really good. So good defense so far. Pretty good damage. But once we get the Roshi on rotation, the damage will be much better. Um, let's see. So next time we come around, he's going to go Super Saiyan 3. And then after that, Super Saiyan God. So let's take the Super Saiyan Blue Kak and Goku out of rotation so we can link them up in, in, in three turns. And then we'll have pretty much our ideal rotations, I think. Hold on, okay, so he's not going to be there next turn, and then turn after. I know I know it's really sad, but like at this point, like I still have to think about it a little bit when I'm like thinking about my rotations. Like, yo, know, when is this guy going to come back if I take him out of rotation right now? But I think it's going to work out. I'm pretty sure by the time we go Super Saiyan God, we'll have the Super Saiyan Blue Kak and Goku in rotation as well. Yeah, let's just say that that's how it's going to go. Anyways, um, turn 1, 3.2 mil. Turn 2, 3.6 mil. Now this turn 3 should be very, very good. Because we're about to get the uh, LR Master Roshi, who gives 40% support to Turtle School, right? So... So far we've been seeing sub 4 million, but I'm guessing this one's going to be definitely over 4 million. Okay, here we go. Here we go. Okay, I'm going to move Roji at the end there. We have over 200,000 defense for Super Saiyan 3 Goku. And uh, he just needs a few orbs there, so give him those. Uh, we can't get a super, it looks like, or Gohan, but that's, that's fine, I guess. I'll give these to Roshi. All right. Let's see what happens here. We're taking 36, 34, 4.5 mil, guys. 4.5 additional. There we go. All right, uh, what was that, 4.8? I think it was 4.8. So close to 9 million, or maybe just over 9 million damage generated. Sorry, sorry, not damage. I, I get the terms mixed up sometimes. 9 million attack generated damage-wise. Uh, still pretty good. I don't think we got a crit though, so you know, not as good as it could have been. Yo, okay. I know we're not showcasing this guy, but I have to do this, man. I have to pop the active skill when I have the chance. So let's go for it. I'm gonna take a quick intermission, quick break from the uh, AGL transforming Goku showcase to just watch this beautiful active skill animation. If only he said you fool. If only. It would have been perfect. It's still very good. I still love it. But it's not you fool, man. It's not the same. Anyways, getting back to AGL Goku now. And we should have the Super Saiyan Blue Kaku Goku. Perfect. This is good. This is good. And uh, look at that. 238,000 defense. Um... I am a little bit worried about the Kaioken Goku actually, so what I'm going to do is actually put him in the first slot. Hopefully that first attack is not a super, and we should be good after that because obviously Gohan's very tanky, and the Goku at this point is also really, really tanky. Yeah, that was good. Perfect. Man, this Goku, I love him. I love his damage at least, but his defense is really lacking, man. It's really sad. Okay, 5.3 mil. 5.3 mil, a nice crit there, no additional unfortunately, but taking these attacks very, very well. A super here is going to do 33 damage. I mean, what else is there to say? <laughs> what else is there to say? 33 damage, no items, just his, you know, own defense and damage reduction. When you combine, you know, 200,000 plus defense with 24% damage reduction, you know, he's he's not really going to be getting hurt by most uh, enemies in this game. You know, with the exception of like Super Battle Road, Extreme Super Battle Road, where like if you take a hit early on, it might still be pretty bad. Um, he's going to be great for you in most events, you know, defensively and offensively, just like the Frieza. So... Yeah, he's awesome. <laughs> really, really good Extreme Z Awakening, guys. By the way, I'm sure most people are aware of this, but in case you didn't know, the new Goku, the new LR Goku, and the uh, AGL Gohan have the exact same Link set. So they are by far 
the best thinking partners for each other. All right, so if you guys have the new Goku and you have the Gohan, definitely use them together as much as possible because they're they're just perfect for each other, you know. Uh, 6.2 mil from my Goku. Wow. Damn. Okay. <laughs> And that's a 55% Goku, by the way. 55%. So, yeah, he's pretty good, too. Obviously, we're not here to showcase him. I think you guys know that the new LR Super Saiyan Goku is a monster, right? Like, that's that's pretty obvious. Okay, uh, got a Super Saiyan Blue Goku transformation here. Got a Tech Broly, but that's fine. I don't really... not really worried about taking damage. Uh, 309,000 defense, 25% damage reduction on top of that, and also additional attack for facing extreme types, and uh, also we got a guaranteed crit this turn as well. So let's just give him a few orbs there. Luckily, no attacks in the middle, so we don't have to worry about the Kaoken Goku. And uh, let's see what happens. Hopefully, we get an additional. That would be ideal. Okay, 28 damage, a crit, I mean a super, 74k, all right. I mean, that was something, that was something, but really, nothing to be concerned about. Uh, 4.2 mil, and no additional, but yeah, about 6.6 .6 million attack right there. And Super Saiyan Blue Kaku Goku doing some good damage too, alright. Now, unfortunately, we can't use his active skill, because that's always fun, but we don't have enough uh, reps, of, reps of U7 on this team, or... Was it reps of U7 or just Universe Survival Saga? I think you need four or more reps of U7, actually. It's been a while since I've run that guy. Like, I only pulled him out for the showcase today, but usually, you know, he's not really on my teams. So, let's finish off Broly here with uh, our Goku, and then we'll move on to, I think, the final boss of this stage, which would be the full power Broly. Or the legendary Super Saiyan Broly. Alright. I think it's Broly. There we go. Okay, final boss. We got our LR Roshi support. We have 320,000 defense, which is awesome. And, uh... Let's just finish out these turns, finish off this Broly, and then after that, we'll talk a little bit about how we feel about this Goku. But spoilers, um, feeling pretty good about him, man. Feeling pretty, pretty good about him. Okay, so his attack stat is 6.8 million. So close to seven. One, two, three, four, five, six. Nice, got a token attack going. If we get an additional here, it'd be I mean, Broly should be pretty close to dead with an additional super. Maybe we can just solo him. That would be a perfect way to end off the showcase. Come on. Oh. Yeah, I'm so close. No additional super there, right? No additional super, but... That one Dokkan attack almost finished him off. That was, I think, over 11 million damage. If I saw correctly, I could have I misread, but... I think that was over 11 million damage, guys. Alright. <laughs> so there you go. That is your... Ooh, got a Dragon Ball. Oh, nice. Okay. I've been slacking on the Dragon Ball collection. But, um... Yeah, that, that, that was your AGL Goku Showcase. He is a monster, man. He's a beast. Uh, as I said, like, he was not really that useful before. Um, aside from being, I guess, like a super type leader. That was kind of the only reason I would run him. Uh, outside of that though, his damage wasn't super impressive. His defense was good, was okay, but you know, wasn't the best either. Um, at least compared to some newer units, right? Like he was kind of being replaced by other stackers. And uh, I, just, I just didn't really have a reason to run him that much. But now with the Extreme Z Awakening, I mean, his defense especially was impressive to me, but his offense was you know, it wasn't lacking either. Uh, he's not lacking in either department. And uh, it's a really good unit now. Really, really good top tier TUR right up there with the Frieza. I would argue the Frieza maybe is a little bit better. Um, that's debatable though. 
That's debatable. Frieza has the healing. This guy has really good tanking with the damage reduction. So between the two, uh, I guess I'll just say they're both amazing. Obviously, it's going to be hard to not compare the two because it just got Extreme Z Awakenings back to back and also because they released at the same time. So uh, I guess I'll turn the question back to you guys. Let me know in the comments what you guys think or which unit you guys think is better, the Goku or the Frieza and uh, why you think that, okay? But that's it for today's showcase, guys. Thank you so much for watching. As always, if you liked the video, then make sure to like the damn video. And if it's your first time watching me, first time to the channel, and you like what you see, then definitely hit that big red subscribe button to join the Tiger Squad now. And while you're at it, hit that notification bell too, so that YouTube knows you wanna stay up to date with all my latest content. And that's it. I'm out of here until next time. Have an awesome, awesome day. I'm Tiger with Tiger Uppercut Media. Signing out.